Your material is almost there. <coughs> All right, next, uh, how to simplify the square root of 245? All right, so this is the same thing. So we're going to try to break it down into factors and think about how we can manipulate it so it's easily solvable. Uh, another thing is that um, 245 is an imperfect square. So that means that there are no two, there is no number that multiplied by itself that will produce 245. Okay, so because of that, we'll have to, we, we know that our, our final answer will include a prime number within a square root bracket. Okay, so let's think about what are the factors of 245. And the junior tutor gives us one, which is 40, 49 and 5. Okay, so let me make sure that's correct. 49 times 5. Um, let me just do a side here. 49 times 5 is 45 to 45. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so we have a prime factor of 5 here, but we also have 49, which can be further broken down to 7 and 7. Okay. So we can say 7, 7, that's 5. Okay, so now if we were to write the square roots of 245, <coughs> we can write it as the square roots of 7 times 7 times 5. Okay, but we can alternatively write 7 times 7 as 7 squared. And in our previous example, we know that any uh, square root of a squared number will just be itself. And we also need to apply a different rule here, which is that the square root of a times b can be written as the square root of a times the square root of b. So we're going to break this bracket up, and we have the square root of 7 squared times the square root of 5. 5 doesn't have a square root that's a whole number, so we're just going to leave that. And the square root of 7 squared is just 7 times root 5, and we have found our, we have simplified our square root, which is 7 times root 5. So another thing that we could have done is that we could have wrote, so this is an alternative solution, 245 as 49 times 5. And this is where your knowledge of perfect squares comes in, because you can realize that 49 is just the perfect square of 7. So we can write this as root 7, or we can write this as uh, 7 times root 5. So by doing, by having this mental knowledge of the perfect squares, we're able to bypass the step and we just say, oh, the square root of 49 is 7, so we can just take the 7 out of the bracket, or the square root, and this is what we get. Um, so that's what the junior tutor did. And they also described what the product rule of square roots are, which is right here. So this solution is correct. Good job. <clears throat> All right.